as most people believe global warming in the next century. So this is written in Japanese, it's future, meaning future and year. So that from 2000, uh, IPCC, the fourth report, predicted a one-way increase in global warming up to 2 to 4.1 degrees centigrade uh, in, the, in the end of next century. I have uh, preferred the rather global cooling. And then I, this is a point I would like to uh, discuss uh, <coughs> the problem here. So what controls the climate? Galactic cosmic ray to cause the cloud or greenhouse gas carbon dioxide. That is the first important topic here to be discussed. This is a fifth uh, IPCC uh, report here to show the factor triggering global warming. It's a greenhouse gas here. Uh, <coughs> and another important, it's a big issue, is a factor trigger global cooling. So dust and also cloud, cloud is really important. And the big uncertainty here, that was same as before in the fourth report. And everybody feels that this is a problem and which is equivalent to the positive uh, global warming factors. So the, uh, <coughs> they just stress very important uh, uh, increasing of carbon dioxide or greenhouse gas effect in this century. But first attention is a CO2 emission and the temperature change in the past 140 years uh, from here to up to 2000. And at that time, uh, about 2000, <coughs> Please note the encircled uh, <coughs> time length from uh, 20th century here. And this, this is an issue to show the greenhouse gas increase, uh, natural gas, uh, oil, natural gas, and coal uh, is burning. A rapidly increase from here, you can see here from here up to here, 2000. From middle of that correspond to this point, from here up to here, that is a very steep increase of carbon dioxide or burning of natural uh, <coughs> gas, oil, and coal. But temperature decreased. Why? This is the rate of temperature change, radiative forcing of carbon dioxide and water. And one means uh, <clears throat> just about, say, uh, about 400 ppm here now, and 200 here twice, and also zero here, then carbon dioxide temperature increase only 1.5 uh, K, and only 1.5 K decrease, even we uh, reduce it to zero. On the other hand, water has a big greenhouse gas effect, about almost one times more. And also, if we delete all water, and then minus 27 degrees. So that therefore, greenhouse gas is dominated by water, H2O, and about 10% of carbon dioxide here. Global GCM simulation indicates if we increase, OK, uh, 100 ppm in future, 0.4 K increase. But uh, and also, if we increase 200 ppm, only 0.8 K, this is just radiative forcing. So that then GCM simulation uh, in, in, exaggerated of nearly one, 10 times more. This is a point uh, by GCM simulation. We are now doing the same thing. And on the other hand, Svensmark, that group, they have correlated, uh, uh, <coughs> reported correlation between galactic cosmic ray and cloud by satellites using 1980 to uh, 15 years. You will see high cloud, middle cloud, and low cloud. You can see green is cloud showing uh, left hand side. And red means uh, temperature here as shown by red uh, on the right hand side. Sorry. Uh, okay, uh, cosmic ray, sorry, galactic cosmic ray uh, here, show here. And you will see good agreement here, low cloud. So the excellent correlation, 1% change of cloud amount causes changes in temperature about one degree, it's big. 
So the <coughs> good positive correlation in the equatorial region here, as shown by orange color. So that according to their model, it's easy. Okay, sun, the earth, and the galactic cosmic ray here like supernova. So that you can imagine if sun activity would, is weak, same as today, now weaker and weaker in this century, if it is true, then the more galactic ray come to hit the earth, making seed of cloud. So therefore more cloud <coughs> appear to decrease temperature on the earth. If sun gets much stronger, then, okay, blow out galactic cosmic ray to decrease seed of cloud, meaning uh, global warming. So this is a principle. Okay, but the, their measurement was very short, okay, only 15 years. And then the crowdness plus minus 1.5, plus 1.5, minus 1.5. So the important point is uh, can we estimate past crowd back to how old? That is the point. So that roughly speaking, the crowdness usually cover about 50% on the surface of the Earth. And the fluctuation, how much? That is the point. So the salon experiments and the crowd observations doing in principle uh, by uh, Kirkby's groups. So crowd experiments, I will skip the detail, but important the uh, next is uh, shown. So the crowd nucleus experiments are not consistent with observation. This is a point uh, stressed by Kirkby. So that this is a figure, observation of the land cloud here on the left hand side. Ocean cloud observation here. And the experiment is shown as by Ryan here. All the experiments and much younger experiments they have done. And the dots are the measurements on land. So that Please note that this is the ion pair limit in boundary layer. It's a, this broken line is most important. So that we can explain well by the Spence mark model below this line and observation, but the all plot above this line cannot be well explained. So this is the reason why the Kirkby deduced the idea by Spence mark, not well. But on the other hand, if we look ocean, which is twice bigger on the surface, because land mass is only one third, and the two thirds is ocean. And ocean can be well explained, and already by you at all, they have explained. So this is a, a result. So <clears throat> to summary, the cloud galactic cosmic ray correlation, and the more galactic cosmic ray and the more clouds, this is true if we considering the ocean. So galactic cosmic ray increase, okay, I, I, I will not explain the details, but if somebody are interested in, let's discuss. But the next one is the important one, the past climates over 2,000 years, what happens? So we can use galactic cosmic, okay, uh, cap delta 14 by three ring. This is 2000, year 2000, and back to 1000 here, and uh, some shown even back to 2000 years ago. Okay, this is sun activity by the uh, <coughs> number of sunspots. And this is temperature estimate by several methods like delta 13 uh, carbon. And the galactic cosmic ray is so shown by uh, delta 14 carbon. And you can see activity of the sun uh, uh, you know, really active. It's shown by red color and red color. It's a very cold period as shown by blue colors. You can see, of course, you know, we cannot measure the amount of, of cloud in the past, but you can indirectly, we can discuss using, uh, you know, galactic cosmic ray by cap delta 14 and the sunspot number and also climate like pollen and also or by the other, like sea level change in the past. For example, the sea level change in this period was about one meter high. So that 
here increase is only to 20 centimeter for the last say 140 years. So you can see the good correlation it's more galactic cosmic ray indicating uh, it's much, uh, much colder. You can see that very well. And also, even in intermediate region here, here, you can see it's a positive and also negative. You can see negative and the positive and the negative. And you can see here. And then we can use now galactic cosmic ray is turned to increase recently. It's just showing it's uprising, now, rising now here. And also, activity of the sun now is decreasing. You, you cannot see up here, decreasing. But I just put, okay, May turn uh, in 90, say, 50 or something. But anyway, then temperature is now uh, just start to be stagnant. So the global cooling in the 21st century, this is a point to discuss. Uh, to discuss. I just put predicted uh, from 2000 to start to decrease. So now, uh, let's go back to uh, the older uh, estimation by IPCC force reports, starting from 2000. They said uh, simple extension here, but now recently the report fifth uh, shifted from this point to that point, and with more, much gentle increase. Now, uh, let's see what happens for the coming five years whether or not my prediction is correct or IPCC is correct. Okay, this is my favorite prediction. I may, I may be wrong or what happens. Let's see, probably more interest is than gambling, okay. That's all, thanks. Okay. Do you have some questions? Yeah. Uh, thank you for very interesting information. Uh, so, uh, can we do a theory that global cosmic ray um, manage uh, solar activity too? Right. Not only, uh, sure, there is a 11 uh, year cycle, yeah. but intensity 13, of, yeah. this, of peaks right. is right. Uh, depend on cosmic rays too, right. it seems to me. Right. Uh, right. Thank you. Yeah. And also the uh, geomagnetic intensity. Mm -hmm. It could be related yeah, to that. Yes, yeah. yes. Okay. No question. But in natural disaster is another story. It's a, it, let's separate the idea. That is more important by the expanding human population. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you.